Danny Flexen here for seconds out with Demi Jade Reston. I hope I pronounced that correctly. We were just saying off camera you've got a random Z in the middle of your name that throws people off. But she's just been selected to go to the Worlds, 48 kilos. Just tell us how you feel. Are you excited? Uh, to go to the World Tournament is amazing. Words can't describe how I feel. I've never been to a size tournament like this before, ever. So it's just going to be really exciting. And despite the fact you're only, what, 22? You've been boxing since you were seven. A lot of the girls started later. Doing it for so long, it must mean a bit more to you. It's like the culmination of a, a lifelong journey. I think to even get this far like, is phenomenal. Like I've been boxing, like you said, since I was seven. And now getting success like, is just great. Like Going to the under-22s, coming back with a silver was like words can't describe it but also like getting that information about actually being on G team gb now is just like i'm getting paid to do what i love like as an athlete so it's just yeah it just shows that if you stick at something and work hard for it you'll get it you're from cambridge it's not exactly a boxing hotbed or at least not in recent times what what kind of got you into the sport uh i was bullied in primary school so that's what got me into it my mum wanted me to learn self-defense so that's what kind of got me going into the boxing world. What, what sort of, without being too kind of nosy, what, what sort of bullying goes on in primary school? Because you wouldn't expect it from kids that young. Uh, I kind of got bullied by guys. So it was just not really nice that the name called and things like that. And also because I was quite feisty anyway, I think everyone just wanted to pick a fight and I was getting into trouble. And also in secondary school a lot because people, I kind of did take up boxing young and then when people find out you're a boxer, they always are like, oh, you think you're this, you're that. Uh, so really in my early stage of secondary school, you could say I had a rough time up until the end of year nine. And then I just thought, you know what, I'm not going to let words bite, get to me. So I kind of knuckled down, but it was a bit too late. But then still went to college and got my personal training. So Brilliant. And although boxing helped you in a, a very kind of, you know, physical way in terms of the bullies and stuff. How did it help you outside of that to kind of deal with the bullies and to, to help your self-esteem and that kind of thing? I think mentally it helped a lot because obviously when you come in the boxing gym, I could let out everything, what I was feeling, all my emotions and things like that. So then when I did go out of them doors, it kind of didn't leave the boxing gym. So before, when I was younger, growing up, I kind of went to these self-defence classes and if someone did hit me, maybe I would get into a fight. <laughs> and that's not really the way to solve it. So obviously at the end of year nine and beginning of the year 10 stages in secondary school, I kind of went into the boxing gym, done what I needed to do. As I left them doors, nothing else left them doors. I just kind of had my head, head held high and things. And obviously being a lot older than... I could do more competitions so then I was obviously doing more of the competing side of things rather than just going to a gym and training. How much of a confidence boost is it your performance at the Euros recently ahead of going into the Worlds? Oh it's massive confidence I didn't expect to go to the final so even to get to the final was a huge confidence boost so now I feel like going into these Worlds I'm, I've seen a few of the girls and I've boxed so, like my heart, my draw out in the Euros was really hard. I had the number one, two, and three seed in my draw, and I did beat the number two in the world. So um, it gave me a lot of confidence. Does it bring a bit of added pressure though, as well? Because like you say, you beat the number two in the world, you now become kind of a serious medal hope, not just for the worlds, but potentially for well, no, not for Tokyo. We're going to talk about that in a minute, <laughs> but certainly for the worlds. I think, uh, yeah, it does put pressure on me getting a medal, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to enjoy it and take it step by step. I know I can beat these girls. It's just that I've got to get my head in the right mindset and just believe. What I was alluding to just now is obviously your weight, 48 kilos, is not an Olympic weight for females at the moment. It's a bit... It's, it's kind of hard to know how to take it because there's been more room made for more female divisions by some of the men's divisions being cut out. But for someone like you, obviously your size and weight, it's there for the Euros and the Worlds, but not for the Olympics. How frustrating is that? It is very frustrating. But like I said, everything lately has just happened so fast. Like to even go to the Europeans was a mass like massive. To win a medal in the Europeans was even more so. And then to get given the news that I'm on Team GB and I'm going to a world tournament is just like wow like it's all happened at once they have my weight in the commonwealth games so hopefully if that comes along i'll get selected to go to that but i think what they're saying is they're looking at um progressing me into a 51 fighter anyway in years to come because i'm still only 22 years old so i think the future is bright how, how easy is it for you to kind of put on weight and to bulk yourself up to a 51 or are you naturally very slim uh, 
Uh, I'm naturally very slim, so I think it'll be a challenge <laughs> for me, but also for the coaches and things, but we'll just see what the future brings. Um, just before we let you go, there'll be people out there that want to know a bit more about you. How can they find you on social media? Uh, I'm just on Instagram as Demi Jade, or I'm on Facebook as Demi Jade Reston, and on Twitter also as Demi Jade. So. You better spell Reston for us. Yeah, R-E-S-Z-T-A-N. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, well, we wish you the best of luck in Russia and we'll be watching with interest. Thank you very much. Thank you.